President Trump stunned fellow leaders at last week's gathering of the world's wealthiest nations by making coarse jokes about illegal immigration and terrorism. Trump told Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, the Wall Street Journal reports, that he could send him over 25 million Mexicans to give him a taste of the migration problems that plaguing Europe and America. He is also said to have told French President Emmanuel Macron that all the terrorists are in Paris's during the discussions that took place over the course of the two-day summit. President Trump denied at a news conference following his early departure that there was any bad blood between himself and his foreign counterparts over the steel and aluminum tariffs he slapped on their countries just before the annual annual conference. He also said that a picture of German Chancellor Angela Merkel and Francis Macron leering over him while Abe stood poised with his arms crossed was misleading. In the same few moments before the photo was taken, a frame shows the leaders laughing over something that he'd said. I have a great relationship with Angela Merkel of Germany, but the fake news media only shows the bad photos, implying anger, of negotiating an agreement where I am asking for things that no other American president would ask for," he said in a Friday tweet revisiting the topic. Trump left the conference in Canada ready to sign a joint communique with six other nations. At his unscheduled news conference, just before he departed, the president called his relationships with America's partners in Europe and North America great. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau said just after Trump left, however, that he'd confronted President Trump about the tariffs on his country and the fact that as a top ally, he finds them wholly unnecessary. The slap at Trump led to a full-scale assault from the White House, with the president yanking his name from the joint statement and sending his senior economic and trade advisors on TV to hit Trudeau as a backstabber. A Wall Street Journal report says, however, the tensions flared behind the scenes as the president rejected a panel that Merkel suggested to make an assessment on the actualities of the United States trade deficits. Macron is said to have pointed out that the playing field is not level based on individual markets, bringing up European exporters' access Apple and pair markets. Share this article Share European Commission President Jean-Claude Juncker also argued that Trump ought to look at the overall trade relationship with any nation, including European investments in the United States economy. Trump is said to have called Juncker a brutal killer in response over antitrust and EU rules that disallow the EU s from negotiating with member nations directly. I think he meant it as a compliment, but I'm not so sure, Junker said in Germany on Thursday. Trump curtly told his closest friend of all the leaders that he'd be out of office if he had the migration issues affecting the U. S. Shinzo, you don't have this problem, but I can send you 25 million Mexicans and you'll be out of office very soon, he reportedly stated. And during a discussion on Iran and terrorism, he reportedly told Macron, you must know about this, Emmanuel, because all the terrorists are in Paris. After the meeting was over, Trump said, it was not contentious as in that, what was strong was the language, that this cannot go on. But the relationships are very good, whether it be President Macron or with Justin. We had, Justin did a really good job. I think the relationships were outstanding. He went on to say that the level of relationship is a 10 and we have a great relationship. Angela and Emmanuel and Justin. I would say the relationship is a 10. A lot of these countries actually smile at me when I'm talking. And the smile is, we couldn't believe we got away with it. That's the smile, he said. So it's going to change. It's going to change. They have no choice. If it's not going to change, we're not going to trade with them.